Hello, good afternoon, welcome to another fruitful discussion with Mrs. M. So, for today, we'll need to discuss and understand IUCN. So, does anybody know the, the meaning of IUCN? Are you familiar about it? Okay, so I hope you have read the module that I have provided. So, when you say, so okay, when you say, IUCN, this refers to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. So it is an international organization working in the field of nature conservation and sustain, uh, sustainable use of nature resources. Okay, it, is, it involves in data gathering, analysis, research, field projects, advocacy, and education as well. So from the word itself, international organization. So it is already expected and understood that states are, are okay, that many states are members of this organization. So let us continue. So IUCN is a membership union composed of both the government and the civil city organizations. So it harnesses the experience, the resources, and reach of its more than 1,400 members organizations and the output of more than 17,000 experts. So the diversity and the vast expertise makes IUCN the global authority on the status of the nature world and the measures needed to safeguard it. Why is it that the, the use of um, why is it that the use of our envir uh, the use of natural resources in the and the conservation and sustainable uses is very imperative labi na karong panahuna because remember remember guys that in terms with the utilization in terms with the consumption we should not focus as to the present lang. But rather, we need to look at the next generations to make sure that your your children, your your apo in the future, okay, and their apos in the future will be able to enjoy the natural resources. That is why in the study of criminology, okay, in the new curriculum, environmental laws are included. So our IUCN is a democratic union that brings together the world's most influential organizations. That is why I have emphasized that there are many state members in this organization and top expert in a combined effort to conserve nature and accelerate the transition to say sustainable development. So IUCN member organizations set the direction of the union work and global conservation efforts more broadly. So every four years at the IUCN World Conservation Congress, six IUCN commissions made up of over 10,000 experts. So inform the IUCN knowledge and help produce its work. So the organization secretariat focuses in work on key themes and is organized into 11 operational regions in order to anchor its knowledge locally and better serve the members' needs. So as you can see, these are the various um, IUCE themes, including the designated region. So for, in terms with the, bio, the business and biodiversity, okay, the region that is assigned to is Asia. Another, in terms with the climate change, we do have the Eastern and the Southern Africa. In terms with the ecosystem management, we do have Eastern Europe and Central Asia. In terms with the environmental laws, we do have Europe, forest, Mediterranean, gender, Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean. And for the global policy, okay, 
And then we do have also the governance and rights, which is, which is the region of Oceania. And then the protected areas, South America. And then um, the marine and polar, we do have Washington, D.C. For the nature-based solutions, we do have the West and the Central Africa. For the science and economics, we do have West Asia. Then we do have species, water, and world heritage. So when you say biodiversity class, when you say biodiversity, okay, it is a biological variety and variability of life on Earth. So the biodiversity is a measure of variation in terms with the genetic, in terms with, the, as you can see, in terms with the species, in terms with the ecosystem level. So the terrestrial biodiversity is the usually greater near the equator, which is the result of the warm climate and high in terms with the productivity. So maybe you will be asking, why is it that our um, biodiversity is important? And also, may you focus with in terms with the biodiversity? So it refers, as what we have mentioned, it refers to the variety of life. So when you say variety of life, all okay, all living organisms here on Earth, in terms with all the levels. So, and it also encompasses the evolutionary, ecological, and the cultural processes that sustain life. So, in terms with the animal, in terms with the mushroom, so on and so forth. So, biodiversity also includes not only the species we consider rare, okay, threatened or endangered, but also every living things from humans to organisms we know little about like for example the fungi the invertebrates so these are also included in biodiversity so at the center of biodiversity and conversation we include humans and human culture diversity as part of it so we use the term bioculture to describe the dynamic continually evolving and interconnected nature of people and place and the notion that social and biological dimensions are, of course, interrelated with one another. So, in short, this concept recognizes that human use, the knowledge, the belief, influence, and in turn are influenced by the ecological system of which human communities are part. So, this relationship makes all biodiversity includes species the land the seascapes the culture links the places where we live so we there is really a right we were uh, that we are or in distant lands so important to our well-being as they all play a role in maintaining a diversity and healthy planet so normally you would ask why is it that biodiversity is important so this is the response Biodiversity is important to most aspects of our lives. So the value of the biodiversity for many reasons, some are utilitarian, some are intrinsic or complicated in nature. So this means that we value biodiversity both from what is provide what it uh, what it provides to human beings because remember if we include of course the plants the vertebrates the animals this all you know all helps human beings to survive and for the value it has its own right so utilitarian values includes many um, other basic needs to obtain from biodiversity like as what I mentioned earlier it allows us to survive it allows us to survive because these um, these animals um, these uh, vegetation so on and so forth this this supplies the food chain now this allows us to have food to allow us to have fuel allow us to have shelter and of course very important medicine 
Further ecosystem provides crucial services such as pollination. Okay, mo nang mo nang ang mahitabo is that kanang like for example kanang squash na to nga tanom nga na makaproduce man ta og og fruit nga vegetable nga squash through its process. The nutrient cycle and the control of agriculture pest. So biodiversity also holds value for the potential benefits that are not yet really recognized or being discovered, such as, like, for example, the medicine. So what um, are the most um, effective medicine is makita nato through biodiversity and other possible unknown services. So your biodiversity has a culture value to humans as well, including spiritual or religious reasons, for instance. Because remember, in every um, regions, in every um, culture, it is unique. And, and we need to respect that. And in order to protect it, uh, it is through biodiversity. So, the intrinsic value of biodiversity refers to its inherent worth, so which is independent of its value to anyone or anything else. So, this is more a philosophical concept which can be thought as of inalienable right to exist. So, finally, the value of the biodiversity can also be understood through the lens of the relationships we form and strive for with each other and the rest of the nature. So, we need to no, understand its value because of how it's, it shapes who, we're, who we are and our relationship to each other and, of course, in relation to our social norms as well. So, these relational values are part of are part of us okay and the collective sense of well-being so there is really a responsibility and in in connection with the environment so the different values okay placed on biodiversity are important because they can influence the conservation decisions people make every day that is why it is emphasized in biodiversity that it does not only include the, the animals the vegetation the vertebrates the fungi so the the flowers okay the plants but it also includes the culture of human beings now let's talk about the vision so a just world that values and conserves nature. So that is the vision of this international organization, which is the IUCN. In terms of the mission, influence, encourage, and assist societies to conserve the integra uh, integrity and diversity of nature and ensure that that in any use of natural resources is equitable and ecologically sustainable. So therefore, the, the use of, of our nature is not really a problem. The problem is how we use it. This is what is, this is, uh, this is the main point of having this um, organization. One of the main points. So our IUCN okay was established on october 5 1948 in the french town then its aim is to encourage international cooperation and provide scientific knowledge tools to guide conservation action another the primary focus was to examine the impact of human activities on nature. Okay? Another, it flagged the damaging effects of pesticides in biodiversity and promoted the use of environmental impact assessment, which can or which have since 
become the norm actor across sectors and industry yes that is true because what is promoted now is that when you do like for example uh, farming it is very imperative not to use synthetic no synthetic pesticides so dapat ang gamiton are organic okay that will not harm the people who will be consuming you know, the product and it will not also harm the environment muna kung makita ninyo i don't know with if you are really that familiar muna makita ninyo that many of the farms karon are utilizing the organic farming another in 1960s and 1970s was devoted to the protection of the species and habitats necessary for their survival. So in 1964, IUCN established the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, which has since evolved in the world's most comprehensive data source on the global extinction risk of species. Yes, this is very true. Kaya naman, due to the unsustainable ways utilized by people before nga kuha kay kuha ra patay kay patay ra okay even if mga baby pa kayo even if mga if these are the the what's this the mothers even if the the, the species is pregnant ang mahitabo ilarang kuha on which is not good okay muna ang nahitabo ang ilahang population is nigamay which um, na consider na lang noon sila as mga threatened species munang here in Negros Oriental if you are familiar with Darwin na atay kuandia beach nga which is considered as a sanctuary okay so we are still allowed to go there and enjoy swimming but we are not allowed to get these fishes Another is the IUCN has also played a fundamental role in the creation of key international conventions, which includes your Ramsar Convention on Wetlands, your World Heritage Convention in 1972, and then your, your Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, okay? And the Convention on the Bio logical diversity in 1992 another in 1980 the IUCN in partnership with the UN Environment Program or the UNEP and the World Wildlife Fund or the WWF published the World Conservation Strategy so a groundbreaking document which helped define the concept of the sustainable development and shape the global conservation and sustainable development agenda so a subsequent version of the strategy is that caring for earth was established by the three organizations in run-up to the creation of the rio conventions on biodiversity or the cbt the climate change and the desert then in 1999, as the environmental issues continued to gain importance on the international stage, the UN General Assembly granted by the IUC an official observer status. Then in early 2000, the IUCN developed its business engagement strategy by prioritizing sectors with a significant impact on the nature and of course the livelihoods so this includes your mining your oil your gas its aim is to ensure that the use of the natural resources is equitable and ecologically sustainable so as you can see sige yung ginabalik balik sa IUCN that it is okay to use the resources because of course diyo na to gina, ginakuha ang atong food outer medicine our fuel, our shelter, but then again, kinahang lang ang ways of using it should be ecologically sustainable. 
Then later in 2000, the IUCN pioneered nature-based solutions action to conserve nature, which also addressed the global challenges. Like for example, in terms with the food and the water security, the climate change, and the poverty reduction. Yeah, and until now, in terms with the challenges no brought by the the water and the food, actually, um, naara Japan siya hanto drone. Mo to in other countries like in Malaysia, okay, like in Taiwan, no, they are promoting the the use of mga insects as a good source of as a good source of protein. But here in the Philippines, moragdili pa kayo ta into eating insects and ulod as a good source of protein. But then again, it is also emphasized that it is imperative that um, the area that you will look for this is wala gigamitan o mga, mga synthetic pesticides because it also affects the quality. Okay? And another in terms with the in terms with the challenges brought by by no shortage possible shortage of meat munang they're looking at other as a presenta they are looking for other alternatives like uh, the use of the meat of the rabbit so kana but it's mobly these are the modern possible solutions but until now wala ra gyapon munang what we can observe is that there is Okay, an extreme rage of price sa itong mga pork, sa itong mga dressed chicken, no, the meat, and ana. Then, today, with the expertise and reach of its more than 1,300 members, including the states, government, the agencies, the NGO, the, the indigenous people, and over 15,000 international experts, our international organization is considered as the world's largest and the most diverse environmental network. It continues to champion nature-based solution as key to the implementation of international agreement such as the Paris Climate Change Agreement and the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Alright, so that's it. Please check our Google Classroom. I already provided an additional assignment. So, if you do have some questions or clarifications regarding the discussion today, on this international environmental organization please feel free to comment down please do not forget to write your insights in today's discussion on the comment section bye guys